Why couldn't the Concorde land at every airport? Let me explain. The Concorde was designed in the 1960s and was capable of traveling at Mach 2, but its unique design and operational requirements made it unsuitable for many airports. But why? Well, the Concorde needed longer runways to safely land because its high landing speeds required at least 10,000 feet of runway. However, the Concorde also required specialized infrastructure. Its delta wing design and narrow fuselage meant it needed specific taxiways and gates for proper handling. But most airports weren't equipped for this. But the Concorde's high tire pressure created an intense load on runways and taxiways, which could damage weaker airport surfaces. Only airports with reinforced pavements could handle its weight safely. The Concorde's engines were extremely loud, especially when using reverse thrust during landing, which led to strict noise restrictions at many airports near residential areas. But the Concorde primarily operated on elite transatlantic routes, such as London to New York, so it was only compatible with a limited number of airports.